Welcome again to The Resource. I'm Mary Lou Bigelow, and today we're going to talk to Wendy Tatlock, who's owner and senior care advisor for the Care Patrol of Northwest Greater Boston and the North Shore. So, nice Hi. to have you here today. Glad to be here, Mary Lou. Thanks so much for having me. Good. So, tell us all about your company and, and just what you do. I'm absolutely happy to do that. Um, Care Patrol, at Care Patrol, we help seniors and their families figure out the right care and the right living situation when it's not working at home anymore. Um, our services are free to the families we help because we are paid by an assisted living community if someone moves in. That doesn't mean you're under any obligation, um, and I work with all of the communities in um, Northeast Massachusetts. Um, but, but it's it's great. I get to help people and figure out the right solution for them. We can help determine if a nursing home, home care, or assisted living is more appropriate, um, what the different prices might be if you choose a different path. Um, I'm in and out of all the communities on a regular basis, so I know which ones offer which levels of care, which ones allow smoking, which ones have less management turnover, which ones have more happy hours. So I can really help a family and a senior figure out what what makes sense for them. How do you um, usually meet your clients? Yes. Do the children call you? I, I work with a lot of adult children. I work with a lot of seniors. I work with a lot of spouses. Um, families find me a few different ways. I work with a lot of the rehabs around, so if someone ends up in rehab and they un unexpectedly, like for example, they broke a hip and they're recovering and they're not quite ready to go home yet, um, a lot of the times the social workers will re connect me with the family and I can help them figure out again whether home care makes more sense or assisted living, but I also, I'm out and about and I meet people different ways, like through right. you and different speaking engagements, um, different <laughs> friends and family and acquaintances. Well, in fact, I met you at the um, Middlesex Senior Care uh, Networking Group that Trisha Gordon runs. Exactly. And, and, and yep, and Trisha actually uh, is an employee as well um, at my company yes. too, so it's, that's, it's that's fun. That's right. Yes. Uh, tell me, do you have a, a story that you could tell um, that where somebody really needed help and, um, and I, you provided it? There are so many touching stories, and that is why I love what I do so much. I worked in corporate America for 20 years and wanted to do something more more meaningful, and this is this, and some of these stories touch me so much. I find a lot of the um, folks I work with don't have any family locally, or they have extended relatives that are in other states, and I helped a, a gentleman recently whose wife had passed away. Um, he had taken her for a doctor's um uh, for just an elective surgery and she actually passed away and he couldn't live by himself and so he ended up having an incident ended up at rehab couldn't go home and he had no local family she had always taken care of him there was a a sister-in-law who was grieving over her her loss of her sister lived in seattle and i had to help them navigate and get everything taken care of you know he needed a bed he had some very serious health issues and needed local medical resources. So I also, not only do I help them find the right place, I help connect them with the resources along the way. And it was a rocky road for a couple of months and we worked through it, but now he's actually um, very independent, successfully living in, in a community. And it just feels so good. Oh, and yes. she's on her own and, and she doesn't have to worry about him anymore. And he's now got new friends and everything, so. I can see where it means so much to you when when uh, you can really help them, and that's that's a really great story. Thanks. Um, basically, the different services that you provide. I know you also work with dementia. Absolutely. Uh, people. So, can you explain a little bit about um, what that entails? Yes. Um, absolutely. So, I I am a certified dementia practitioner. Um, I'm also a certified senior advisor and a certified um, home safety specialist, but I, it's really meaningful to me to help folks with dementia. Um, a lot of people are doing great taking care of their family members at home as dementia progresses, but it, it becomes too much. And so at some point, uh, it, you know, it's better to have trained professionals um, 
it, it help to keep people happy and healthy and so I help people navigate that when you know I, I'm happy to talk to them when they're at home and give them tips on how to be successful at home I refer to adult daycare centers because there are some just amazing adult daycare centers that can provide some support but then after that it, it as the disease progresses uh, memory care assisted living often makes more sense and so I'm in and out of the different ones and they offer different levels of care and I and there are some that offer financial assistance too and I'm a, I have expertise in which ones have different low-income programs and when that's necessary right. it, it feels good to connect people there and to keep people out of nursing homes because what happens when people don't know what their options are out there is too often people end up in the nursing home environment right and that and they Hopefully, you, you try to keep them out if possible. Yes, that is. I, I love my friends who work in nursing homes, for sure, but um, I right. try to keep people out yeah, if, of if course. possible. Well, how about the home uh, um, safety specialty? Yep. Um, when will you go in and, and explain to people, like, uh, I know you mentioned um, Night lights are yes. very good. Also. Oh, that's so interesting. I, please talk about that. Yeah, I, like you said earlier, um, I, I must talk to a lot of adult children, and I, I do talk to a lot of adult children. And often, you know, I try to get in t uh, connected with them early on in the process, and I give them tips on how to keep their parents safe at home and what to look for when they go home over the holidays. So just some really simple things you can do, make sure there are night lights everywhere. I mean, falls are one of the main things right. that that um, keep that pe cause people to end up in rehab. So anything you can stop, to anything you can do to prevent falls. So night lights everywhere, get rid of throw rugs, change your parents' light bulbs, don't let your parents change their own light bulbs. Oh. Yep, um, they shouldn't be climbing on, on anything. Um, you know, make sure they have a spot to put groceries and mail on when they come into the house so they don't have to be juggling things and reaching for things. These are some really simple things people can do to prevent falls. And then there are different, um, like these long uh, handle picks or something to... There are, but that's hard to use. Just yeah. change your parents' light bulbs <laughs> or encourage yeah. them to get a handyman. Honestly, it's um, money well right. spent. Right, that's wonderful. Well, you do so much, uh, Wendy, and I, I know I know you I can feel it, you oh. know, you really do feel um you you love working with people and and uh so Thanks I wanna thank you so much it. for being with us today. And we'll see you next time.